Welcome back, everyone. The Tokyo Olympics just ended, but we are already only a few months away from the Beijing Olympics. Today, Ford Hatchet caught up with a former Triad College star who is pursuing a spot on the bobsled team. After finishing up a successful volleyball career and graduating from High Point in 2020, Jenna Widener says she was retired from athletics until her coach forwarded her an email. You know, the email said, we're looking for explosive athletes, recently graduated. Um, do you have anyone in mind? And Meek sent it to me and just said, hey, are you interested in this? So I replied to Coach Khan and said, you know, I, hey, I played volleyball in college, but I know nothing about bobsled. I don't know anything. Um, and he responded and said, like, hey, awesome. That's okay. No one ever does because people don't grow up doing the sport. Because of COVID, USA Bobsled couldn't hold a combine, fitness testing, or interviews in person. So Jenna was forced to interview over Zoom and send in specific videos of exercises to the coaching staff. And I feel like that's kind of been how this whole experience has gone is, well, I don't really know what's going to happen. So I'll try it. Well, like, I'll try this and see where it goes. Um, luckily, it's been going in a positive direction. Jenna's tape and interview impressed the coaches, and soon she was invited to rookie camp to train. Even before her first run, she was still a little skeptical. I am unprepared. I don't know what this is going to be like. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Um, and I kind of just was like, oh, but why not? Still, again, why not? Why would I not try it? Um, so I got in the sled and made it down the track, and I don't think they could have driven me up fast enough to go again. Now Jenna has her sights set on the 2026 Olympics and hopes to pilot an American bobsled team in Italy. She zoomed with us from the training site in Lake Placid, where she's still also working her full-time job as an auditor remotely. Funky hours, obviously. I still get all my hours in. It just might be at 6 a.m. or 8 p.m., you know. And because American Olympic hopefuls are self-funded, Widener has created a GoFundMe page to try to keep her dream alive. And you can find a link to that page on our website. In High Point, Fort Hatch at WXII 12 News. A ceremony was held today in Athens, Greece, to officially hand over the Olympic flame to the Beijing Olympic Organizing Committee. Beijing will become the first city to host both a winter and summer Olympics after the city hosted the Summer Games back in 2008. The 2022 Olympic Games will run from February 4th through the 20th. At the Games, only fans from mainland China will be allowed to attend, and everyone in attendance, including athletes, will have to be vaccinated or face a 21-day quarantine. WXII is your Olympic headquarters. Stay with us for all things Olympics.